Glass Astoria was kind of about a 10 year high school reunion. And anxiety associated with, do I go to the, my reunion? Do I not go to the reunion? Who goes to the reunion? Are you going to the reunion? How much does it cost? <laughs> you know, it's like, it costs, wait, well, how much is it? You know, that seems expensive. But either way, it's, I grew up with a ton of people I love and I would love to see him. I just was out of town, so I wrote the song instead. I had written it not necessarily with Broncho in mind. I, I've been playing it by myself and thinking I could kind of go multiple ways with it. We could throw this into the Broncho world speed it up, throw it through our filter, and see what happens. After writing it, playing it for a long time, and then eventually recording it, and it being its own thing, I got to this place where I think I lost perspective on if it even would make sense to people. You know, I had a period where it made tons of sense to me, and then I had a period where it was just like, I, I don't even know. but. I guess we should keep playing it, you know. But I do have an internal thing that I I know if, if I'm on to something or not. And when we we released that this summer, it was like a really nice surprise because people were really liking it. And so it took on this new life. That was my class title. As far as class officers go in high school, I was class historian. So I basically didn't do anything but show up to some meetings, and then I had to read a poem at graduation. <laughs> and then I wrote a song about it. Yeah.